Welcome everyone to Adorama Rewind. I'm Seth Miranda. And I'm Dave Presco. And uh, we are back in the event space as opposed to the last episode from the podcast room. There we are. Yeah, so uh, if you haven't had a chance to check out the Adorama podcast, it's available on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, SoundCloud, anywhere you can grab it. This week's episode, Mark Wallace and Gavin Hoey. It was fantastic. It's the last of the episodes from Inspire. Yeah, so soak it up now, write a review, hit five stars, subscribe, stay along with us, and new episodes every Monday. All right, so that's that. Yeah. You ready? I think so. Okay. So the New York <laughs> Times has selected a new director of photography. Right, Megan Lurum. Yeah, so she has been underneath the former 14-year-long uh, veteran director of photography, Michelle McNally. So she's been with her for eight years, and she's stepping up to this position. I think this particular um, hiring makes sense. It's, it's just it's a simple, straightforward It's a good transition. move, and it's nice when people uh, hire within the same so it's like a family and things grow. So we're, we're excited to see what comes out of this. All right, so speaking of women moving up in the uh, photography world. We're... Yeah, so there's uh, Susan Unterberg. Yes. Who uh, is the recently revealed person who's been funding several women with- Anonymous donations. Yeah, women artists, thousands of dollars of, of anonymous donations. Yeah, uh, Susan, her own right, has been in MoMA, Met, all over the place. She feels that women have been represented in the art world. Uh, most gallery shows go to men. Prices for men's work are higher. Much higher, yeah. So she's been supporting the female uh, photographers out there by giving about like $25,000 anonymous donations here and there. Yeah. No one ever knew who she was. It was just an anonymous, so. Yeah, and, and the, the point that she, she was making, too, is that it's like women, e even in the arts, are making like 81% the, yeah. the money that men make, and that uh, women's representation in museums, even in the past 100 years, it's still only, you know, 5% of the total... Yeah, we're, we're not there yet, but at least there's progression happening, and it's, uh, it's really cool it's happening internally, and that there's so much proactive uh, behavior happening right now, so... Two big moves for women in the photo industry. We're looking forward to hearing more. Um, yeah. So, this is kind of crazy. So Nikon dropped the teaser trailer. It is not just a rumor. Yes. This is clearly a mirrorless play for Nikon. It almost, the trailer almost looks like... Um, 2001 the, Space Odyssey? Yeah, the, the lead-in <laughs> to this, to this like sci-fi horror film or something. Love it. Yeah, so <laughs> I don't know if the camera is going to perform very well or eat me. Yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, uh, they, they keep, it's a lot to do with um, the breakdown of light, the spectrum, uh, Roy G. Biv, if you will, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it says pursuit of light at the end. That's about it. We get like this CGI rendering of what the camera could be. Very, very dark. Yeah, check out the link. You can watch it. It's, uh, it, it's just exciting because that just means that we're, we're just breaths away from seeing a Nikon mirrorless full frames drop. Yeah, absolutely. Especially after they just ended everything for their previous line of that. So we'll see what happens. Um, but something that's actually a reality right now. Yeah, Sony. Sony unveiled a 48 megapixel smartphone sensor. It is getting smaller and smaller. Well, the technology, right, is getting yeah. smaller and smaller. This is actually a pretty big sensor. So I got this, this off of Grumpy Old Geeks, a great podcast you can check out. Um, this it's, is a half-inch sensor. Yeah, for a smartphone, that's pretty big. And there's oh. been other half-inch sensors in smartphones. Not this, though. But, but <laughs> nothing ever has been 48 megapixels. Before. No, it, so. it, it works off of a new, like, new quad Bayer system. So um, I don't know. I can't imagine. Normally, we think higher resolution, more noise on a smaller uh, you know, sensor like this. I, I don't know. What do you think, Dave? You think? I think that the... There's going to be a lot of algorithms involved oh, yeah. in noise reduction. Um, I think if you were to look at the raw files, maybe with the increase in technology that happens, because, you know, I mean, you look at old cameras, like 8 megapixel cameras were crazy noisy back in the day. Yeah. And, you know, newer cameras that have two, three times as much, four times as much, have less noise now, you know? Yeah. So I think that it's just move moving forward in technology and... We'll see when they get here. I think it could be interesting that it's this, definitely gonna be interesting. Yeah, and this could could be you know the next iPhone or yeah. Galaxy iPhone 11 camera, could have this. Whatever, whatever it is, right? It's, so. it's available. It is not, it is actually reality. The thing of it is, is everyone gets lost in megapixels, but it's the processing of the information that you get from that sensor that's also just as important. So we'll see what happens with this. I'm curious about file size. How much space are we gonna have on our phones to even handle this kind of resolution? <laughs> I don't know but we're gonna find that out. 
Uh, so speaking of new announcements, Fujifilm, you're a huge Fuji fan. Yeah, I like Fujifilm. Um, so they've got the new 8 to 16 millimeter 2.8. Sick. Yeah, that's, that's pretty crazy. Um, so I think that's going to be a big hit for several groups of, of people, like different target audiences. Okay. Um, I could kind of see on some level landscape stuff, but it's not super wide for that. I, I see more filmmakers, you know, just getting into that. Um, two eight is a great, great speed for it. So yeah, that too, and uh, the new two hundred f two. Yeah, so, that's a that's a huge stretch right there. Two hundred mils. Yeah, um, and yeah. f two. I mean, that's an amazing prime. So yeah. Fuji's really working on it, and. A, Apart from this, they're actually planning for 2020 to release a 33 millimeter F1. Yes, so this is the fastest auto-focusing mirrorless lens. Insane. A combination of things, but to be a 33 millimeter F1, that's just, that's fun. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it's 2020 sounds like it's far away, but it's really not. We're talking about like maybe a year. Right, right, you know? so, so. so this basically says that they're in development phase right now, or they've They've kind of maybe come up to some conclusions like, yeah, we can make this work. We're going to de dedicate the resources to it. It's the million dollar man of lenses. Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's I mean, happening. I mean, there may be some company that releases something that's an F1 before that happens, but it probably isn't going to be a native no, camera no, no. lens and it's probably not going to be autofocus. So. Well, that's the other thing is we've seen uh, lenses that are fast, even like wider than F1, but they've never been autofocus. So right. uh, this is really interesting and it's just crazy that Fuji pushes their progression so much. Like they really do yeah. come out with some amazing technology and, a, and different ways of thinking. Like I'm really excited and the new lens they just dropped, uh, I'm all in. Yeah, I'm all. <laughs> Speaking of new stuff to grab, you can get a free book off of Amazon. Uh, it's going to be Tony and Chelsea. Yeah, so they're they're uh, celebrating their million subscriber yeah. count on YouTube, which is an enormous milestone. Uh, yeah. They were giving away a free camera, but now they're just doing everybody can get a book from them. So this is yeah, really cool. And this is uh, kind of their biggest selling book. Yes. So it's it's pretty big news. I mean, this is a if you want like a tutorial book or, or something, uh, educational content. It's free info. Yeah. Just, you can download a PDF or um, ebook uh, formats, uh, hit the link, download it. I can get it on Dropbox, Google Drive. I mean, they made it completely accessible. No excuses, go grab this. Yeah, seriously, it's a limited time that they're yes. doing this Oh, too, yes, yes, so. yes, I'm sorry. They didn't <laughs> say when it will end, which means you should get on it sooner than later. Yes. Uh, okay, so that's pretty much what we grabbed from the world. Internally, you guys should check out uh, the last onset with Daniel Norton. Yeah, more tutorial stuff, right? The, and uh, this was a fun event, actually. The, this is uh, simple beauty photography. Yeah. Uh, the last shot people talked about quite a bit. That last shot was killer, unbelievable. Uh, shot with a Hasselblad, of course, because that's what he's rocking these days. But the real thing is that he made um, beauty photography simplified so you can just get yourself going. Yeah, we can get make super complicated setups, we can get super calibrated, but he really boiled it down so that you can just get going of the basics and the core values of what you're trying to yeah. push out there. Yeah, and, and honestly, it's a live stream. Yes. So, so it's you know roughly like an hour. You're of, on it. You are physically on this on live stream. End. You uh, held that reflector like a champ. <laughs> yeah. So, so th this is a um, you know it's like an hour, hour and twenty one minutes. I think is what it yeah. is. Yeah. It went a little long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, that's that's good news for you because that's even more content, even more uh, things that you can glean from the video. Yeah, and you can skip through Daniel's bad jokes. Just go like this. Yeah. You just hit the little the little <laughs> L key. Hit to, the L to key. Fast forward ten seconds. Boom. Every time you see him getting a little jokey, boom. Hit the L. <laughs> Love you, Daniel. <laughs> Yeah, so, so uh, that's, that's the end of, of today's episode. That's pretty much everything we got that's out there in the world. But uh, yeah. let's talk about some of the stuff. We'll see you guys in the comments. So let's talk about women's roles in the photography industry. Let's talk about yeah. this new Sony sensor. Are we reaching the end of days for this resolution? Can we stop already? Well, I don't know. When will we get like interchangeable lens phones that aren't hugely bulky? Hmm. Mm. Well, mm. We, they've tried everything. They, they've done the, there's like the... The, the, the magnets, they've tried the, the clip-ons. There's, there's the, the, the phone that has the multiple, what is it? I forget the name of that. Lytro? No, it has multiple cameras on it. I know what you're talking about. I, I've seen it a million times. You've seen it in a million little corner ads. I yeah. can't remember the there's name of it. There's actually a few of them yeah. now. Um, I mean, you look at the iPhone, it's got two cameras in the back, so... It's getting there, and I think that uh, it's getting there. Like we don't have it already. I love this. I love this chat. Let's let's talk about this. It's always getting there, right? 
The yeah. technology is always improving. Look, we have so many tools at our disposal right now. There is no excuse to not go out there and create. And we're glad you guys are with us every step here on our channel. Yeah. We will continue to provide as much content as we can for you as far as tutorials, education, inspirational. Big things are coming. We can't tell you, but there yeah. are enormous things coming. Yeah. Uh, hit uh, like over here. Like, somewhere. subscribe, hit the bell. Bell's over there, right? Yeah. Okay. Enjoy that. So download the podcast, and uh, we will see you guys next time. We'll talk to you in the comments. Later. Yeah. See you.